division. Hi, friends. Today, we are going to learn how to do a super cool math concept called division. Do you know what division means? Division separates objects into equal groups. And in order to share equally, you have to know a couple of important things. First, you need to know how many objects you have. Second, you need to know how many groups they go into. Here's an example. Let's say you are hanging out with your three best friends and you have four cupcakes. You want everybody, including yourself, to get the same amount of cupcakes. So how do you figure out how many cupcakes each person gets? By division, of course. First, we have to figure out what the number of objects and groups are. What do you think? The objects are the cupcakes, and the groups are you and your friends. An important rule to remember is that when you write a division problem, you always put the objects first. In this case, the objects are the cupcakes. Then, we add the division symbol. What do you think comes next? Yep, it's you and your three friends, which is four people total. Can you see how many cupcakes each person, or in math language, group, will get? That's right, each person gets one cupcake. That means that four divided by four equals one. Holy cow, you just did division. Let's practice some more. There are five monkeys at the zoo and a bag of 15 bananas for the monkeys to share equally. How many bananas does each monkey get? What are the objects and what are the groups? The bananas are the objects and the monkeys are the groups. Remember that when you write a division problem, you start with the number of objects, bananas, first, and then the number of groups, monkeys, next. So 15 bananas divided by 5 monkeys equals... If you said 3, you're right! Here's another. There are 9 eggs and 3 nests. Can each nest hold an equal number of eggs? Hmm. If we have nine eggs divided by three, the answer is yes. Nine divided by three equals three. Last one. We have six slices of pizza divided by three friends. Is it possible to share these slices equally? Yes, it is because six divided by three equals two. Each friend gets two slices of pizza. Great job, everybody. You worked hard to learn some magical mathematical skills. Remember that division separates objects into equal groups and that the objects are always written first in a division equation. If you keep that info in mind, you'll become a math whiz in no time. Hope you had fun learning with us visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.